as the you started as the director of ops, now the COO, when you said my client is the team, if the team does not enjoy being at work and doing what they do on a daily basis, like everybody's going to kind of hate going into the office. It's going to suck. Let's just be honest. So part of that is how do I infuse happiness into the culture? And let's go there real quick. And then I want to get to the, the the second part, which was the the process around the proprietary process and how we kind of structured that or you got, you all did. Um, mm-hmm. What, how, what sort of activities, how do you all do life? How, like, what are the fun activities, more of the team facing stuff versus the client facing stuff? Sure. Yeah. So, so I was in, and to explain a little bit or elaborate a little bit on what you mean about like I, the internal client, um, you know, that's my client, you know, I'm, I'm now a COO, so I'm more behind the scenes and yes, I see our clients every day. I'm hugging them saying hello, but I'm more behind the scenes now. And so, you know, my client is the team, you know, I want to make sure they're happy. I want to make sure that they feel like they're communicated with, that they have a job description, that they know what they're doing. They know what's expected of them. They know where their career lies. I want to make sure they're healthy. I want to make sure their family's happy. I want to make sure we can support them in any way we can. So that's kind of why I say they're my internal client. I always refer to them as that. Um, but yeah, we do a lot of fun things together. So we, we have Monday morning meetings every single Monday. Um, and we share our numbers. What new business did we bring in? You know, we have it every single Monday and it used to be back in the day where I ran these meetings, you know, in front of everybody and just showing everything. But now it's, it's so neat because it's evolved into every team reporting in their information and they feel so empowered and feel so happy to share everything that they're doing. So the new business team will go for, I go in first and say, you know, this is everything fun that's happening this week. You know, this is what we might be doing with triad or this is we have a seminar tomorrow night. Oh, did you see Nick just had a baby and I put pictures on there and like I just give the state of the state of the union of SHP for that particular week. Then we go into the new business section. So Zach on his team, our director of new business and his team put together all the numbers. So they're tracking all of our new business, life, annuity, AUM, and we have some fee only clients too. So he's tracking all that and we set targets at the beginning of the year of our goal and then our stretch goal. So we're reporting in every single week how everybody's doing. How is the sales team doing with their goals? What are their closing ratios? What are our closing ratios as a firm? So we're sharing all of that. Um, and then we've got the marketing team. They're sharing, you know, how's our podcast trending? What were our TV results this week? Radio, we're back on radio. What's that look like? Um, what events are we having? Jamie will give a nice update on, you know, what events or seminars we're doing, you know, what she needs from the team for that. Mallory is our director of ops. She'll give an ops update. You know, this is what's going on with technology. This is what's going on with this. We need to start doing this with the client experience. She'll give like a nice update there. Tasha and her team with new business uh, business development, I'm sorry, will give an update on the leads for the week. You know, we have X amount of first appointments, second appointments, connection visits, all that fun stuff. So she gets everybody real excited about the week ahead. Um, you know, and then we've got Erin in compliance. She's given a compliant update. If there's anything we need to know uh, from the SEC standpoint or whatever, she's giving us nice updates. You know, and then we've got the investment committee is giving some updates. So we give everybody a chance in the firm to really um, showcase what they're working on and share, share. And from that meeting, you know, we track, like I mentioned, our goals and stretch goals. But if we hit our goals as a firm, then we'll close the office in the summer and we'll have a really nice, fun summer outing with the staff. We'll go off site for the day. They get a free day off. We give away some really cool swag. We've done like custom Nike sneakers um, for every employee where that the employee numbers on the back of the Nike sneaker, which is really fun. Last year, we had a Maui gym representative there. Um, we revealed the curtain and he was there with all these sunglasses and everybody got to pick out and fit themselves for the perfect pair of Maui gyms. So we do real fun things and make it really a fun experience for the team. Um, and then if we hit our stretch goals as a firm, we actually do an incentive trip with each team member and a loved one or a guest. Um, we've had the luxury of hitting our our stretch goals three years in a row. So we've taken them to Nashville. We've taken them to Cancun, Mexico. And the last one was in Aruba. So fingers crossed we, we hit this year. Um, but we work really hard. It's not just the producers that are producing to hit these numbers. It's the new business team that's processing the paperwork. It's the ops team that's supporting the client experience. It's Tasha and her team qualifying everybody. So it's a team effort. 